Hello, my name is Ben and I'm back from holiday and today is a slightly strange one. If you're eating, I strongly suggest you put your food down now because we're going to be looking at the most explicit vomiting, throwing up, spewing lifts on the powerlifting platform. We've had people go for world record attempts, but they just can't hold it in. This actually is reasonably common in the powerlifting world. It's not a glamorous sport, I must say. You don't definitely don't put your spandex singlet on to look cool. But what is the reason that people just can't keep it down when they're on the platform pulling a PB? And how come we don't really see this in the gym? Why is it exclusively something that happens on the platform? Well, particularly with these clips, we're going to be looking at two different ones. Uh, one on the squat and one on the deadlift. Normally, this occurs more frequently on the deadlift and uh, I'm yet to see it on the bench. That would be quite interesting. When that happens, I will definitely be showing that. All I can say is hopefully it's not you that does that. Now, in the IPF, which is the most popular powerlifting federation, what happens is you have specific weight classes for instance, 74 kilos, 83 kilos, 93 kilos, etc, etc. And for these weight categories, everyone wants to be as heavy as possible. You come in on competition day and they weigh you two hours before your first lift. They do this to try and stop ridiculous weight cuts like you'd see in the UFC, where people cut down from a weight, drop loads of weight, uh, to fit into their category and then put it back on when they actually fight. Uh, because it's two hours before, IPF are trying to keep away from it, but what ends up happening is people try and beat the system and do it anyway. As a result, people will flush their systems of water and salt, retaining no excess water weight. And then after the weigh-in, they will stuff their faces with various carbohydrates, sugars, sweet foods, chocolate, the lot. They'll also drink water, salt water, electrolyte drinks, just to try and put on as much weight as possible. Because weight moves weight. And that is the key condition that produces what you're about to see. Having all that additional food and water and salt in your stomach while pushing yourself to the limits well, what goes up must come down, but does what go down necessarily have to go back up? In these cases, yes it does. It's a dangerous game and I'll tell you the best way to avoid this after, but here are the two clips of people pushing the limits and spewing it all out on the platform. First of all, we have Dylan Nelson very recently from the World IPF Championships going for a world record squat in the 74 kilo weight class. He's a massive squatter, I must say, but what happened on this occasion, he just couldn't get it out of the hole, ended up leaving a little bit of a mess for those to clear up after. The next lift is on the deadlift again at the IPF World Championships. It seems to be a hot spot. A huge deadlift, again from a very lightweight athlete, pulling the deadlift grinding it up. That is mental to think you can maintain your focus while half of your lunch is coming up on the platform. And let's not forget that this is the IPF World Championships. It's not just an empty room. We've got people watching. Uh, it will be a little bit embarrassing, but hey, this is lifting. People respect the grind. They respect the hustle. You can't say that he's not going 100% all in. Now that I've traumatized you, how can you avoid this situation? And the trick is to not push yourself too much. In the vast majority of cases, people that push the weight cut too far end up performing worse than they would otherwise. You can drop weight, but I would never recommend dropping more than two kilograms of weight the night before a competition. And then when you do start reintroducing the foods, the water, the salt, electrolytes back into your system, try and do it progressively and don't use foods that are going to be sitting in your stomach for the whole of the day. Keep the things that you know your stomach can digest and can hold. 
Uh, don't introduce any new food items into your competition preparation. And realistically, we don't see many cases of this. It is quite a rarity, so you should be okay. If you're about to do your first competition, then don't stress yourself out. The likelihood is you wouldn't be weight cutting anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but if you do, it's not like you're going to throw up unless you do push it a little bit too far. And all I can say is the pressure got to these two in this instance. Hopefully you've enjoyed and that hasn't traumatized you too much. If you like the video, then leave a like. And for more lifting content, then please do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.